I'm going to show you how to draw the three wise men. So what I'm going to do is to start off with kind of three bodies of kind of different shape, maybe one a bit plumper, one a bit taller. And in fact, I'm going to make this kind of a longer face and maybe this one a little bit plumper altogether. This one here, I think I'm going to give a kind of traditional kind of Arab headdress and kind of great big beard. And this one, I think I'm going to give um, a kind of a crown, kind of a pointy crown, and he can have kind of longer hair and kind of a bit different. And this one, I think, can have something kind of a bit like a turban, I think, something like that. And he will have a great big beard as well. So these are quite cartoony, aren't they? And if you saw yesterday's video, then you'll know that I showed you how to draw um, the, the crib with the baby Jesus and Mary and Joseph. And, uh, and they're kind of quite simple. So it's just that you can kind of maybe draw your own nativity scene if you want to. So they need to be carrying gold. So we're going to put hands there and we're going to be wanting to draw, we'll carry gold frankincense. So I'm going to have this, I think I'm going to have frankincense in a kind of a longer case with a kind of something like that, maybe little legs on it and myrrh, which is kind of a creamy kind of ointment. So I'm going to have that in a little pot. Well, that can have little legs on it as well. So let's see what happens. I'm going to start with this one here and I'm going to give him that kind of rope that goes around the headdress and then this will come down there like that and that will come there and I'm going to give him eyebrows and a nose and a little smile and let's put some more kind of beardy kind of marks in there like that. And here we want to do, let's draw, this is kind of the scuff of the sleeve here. So then we can draw the thumb and one, two, three, four. One, one, two, three, four. And then he can be carrying this gold thing or whatever it is and we'll just put some little marks in there to give it some texture so this can then come across there and across there and around like that around like that and then all we need to do is to draw in the rest of the we've got a jalab jala, jalabaya jalab jalabi jalabi i think various it's pronounced different ways in different places anyway kind of the Outfit is the word I'm looking for, probably. There we go. And let's put some jewels in there as well, like that. And I'm going to do a kind of a centre parting-y kind of hairstyle here. And let's put lots of curliness in there. And you can colour this hair in any colour you like. I'm not going to do any colouring on these at all. So this is kind of a very long-faced... Um, King, this one, clean shaven, two, <laughs> and he's going to have one, two, three, four, those are going to be his hands, that's his thumb, one, two, three, so he's holding on to this, so that's the sleeve, and that will come around there, that will come around there, and this will come up to the armpits, so let's do something like that, that he's holding this kind of casket of some sort. And we could maybe put a little bit of pattern in there like that. And uh, Maybe it's got little legs. And then we can carry on with the jalabia, jalab. <laughs> Someone is going to tell me how it's pronounced. Um, and here we go. Now this one, we're going to just go around there and around like that. We want a little bit in the top there like that. And then we want this to look like a turban, which has been wound round like that. And so I'm going to do kind of a great big beard 
around like that and coming under the nose and just dots that's all you need and we can have him smiling as well and more kind of beardy kind of little marks in there and again we're going to do the hands one two three four like that thumb one two three four like that into the elbows and then around like that and around up to the shoulder and then up into the armpits just the same and then we can bring this down to the floor like that and we can have a little sort of something like that and maybe that's got little feet as well when you're absolutely sure that the ink is dry then you can erase those pencil lines and you might like to put some little kind of marks in there you might want to put some shading under there underneath here as well we could maybe put a little bit of crosshatch sort of shading in there as well and we could put in an horizon line and a bit of shading to put them in the stable <laughs> or in the desert or something like that let's put some bits on the floor there and there you go how to draw the three wise men real easy